Hello everyone. Uh, this is the 19 foot Thames Marine custom flat that it was my dad's. I'd been using it for many years. He can't really use it. So I ended up trading him my MIG welder for the boat. Uh, I think I got the good end of the deal. I can still use the MIG welder to weld aluminum, whatever I need to weld, but he needed it more than I, I do. And he doesn't really use the boat. So even swap, but I am actually fixing to start doing some stuff to this boat within the next week to get it prepared for fishing season. Springtime, specs running, a um, lot to do. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is rip up this old flooring that's already coming up. It's gonna be fun to do, but I wanna get rid of it, redo it with either the safe floor or sea deck, I don't know which yet. Um, a few things that else we're going to do. I'm going to have the seats redone there and there. Uh, this is a live well. That is a fuel tank. That fuel tank is going away. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. But basically, this is going to be moved to the side right over here. Similar to what this is. Same height. That'll just be storage. Um, I'm getting rid of this step right here. We never use the step. It's just in the way Rewelding up where these old speakers were I'm actually going to put a hatch up here to access the batteries because getting to your batteries right here is a pain in the rear um, I'm gonna do that as far as the center console I'm gonna extend this up some come over so I can flush mount my screen on there put me some uh, switches on there get rid of the old pull knob things and rewire this whole boat another thing is this windshield just it sits too low my head actually sticks up above it so when it starts to get cold or rain you have to kind of duck down so that'll move up a little bit um another thing i'm going to do is in the back back here i want to move that fuel tank isn't but 20 gallons that's tw just 20 gallons 20 gallons doesn't go very far but i have plenty of room back here and I'll have to cut out the floor and re-weld it, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do with it. I'll cut out from here over there, and I'm gonna drop a 40 gallon fuel tank in there. I'll still have plenty of room to mount my batteries right back here in the back. One on each side, one right there, one right over here. And I'm gonna clean up some of the wiring and stuff in there. I'm also gonna add two little drop-in boxes here and one over there for drop-in tackle. So that way I don't have to always get into this area right here to get to my tackle. Um, but I'm gonna put three seats, get new seats for it. Seats are in horrible shape. Three seats, one, two, three. That needs to be moved over just a little bit to make it even. My OCD will go crazy if I don't do that. Uh, this fuel tank, like I said, is going to be moved to here along here to match that over there and it'll just be dry storage or i might even make it to like an ice chest insulated chest it's fairly easy to do i'm going to repaint the boat i'm going to paint it myself i have a, a spray gun this doesn't have to be the nicest thing in the world i want to paint it actually probably the color of my truck um is the color i really want to paint it and then next year, not this year, but next year, I'm gonna get rid of this 100 Yamaha and go with a 140 Suzuki. This Yamaha is actually a really good motor. It's just a carbureted motor, so 2003, it runs great, but it just does not have the oomph to push this boat up with four people in it, loaded down. Um, it, it does struggle a little bit. This is a, believe it or not, a fairly heavy boat. But I thought that the deal I made with the, welding machine was a good deal and um right now i just don't have the money to put into my other boat i need about forty-five thousand to finish it up and and when you got sons needing new vehicles the vehicles come first so um i will document this like i said this has got to happen over the next two to three weeks so this isn't something that's going to drag out over the months i'm actually going to get out here this week and get this floor pulled up i'll video that as you can see, it's in pretty bad shape here, peeling and coming up. I got to pull, the good thing is these can be 
unscrewed, pulled out, unscrewed, pulled out. None of that is welded in. Um, and it won't take much just to fabricate the little dash here. That that probably won't take but a couple hours to get it put in. And uh, yeah, so hopefully y'all follow me on that journey and see all my screw up so you don't screw up when you do yours. If you have any questions, please put it below in the comments and see you then.